What's happening guys? We're back for another video on the channel. Today we're talking DaVinci Resolve 18 EQ updates. We're going to get in here and what I really want to do is show you guys these new presets that they have. They added in just a few of them, not too many, but I want you to hear the before and the after. Just hear what they sound like when we apply them as well as let you hear what it sounds like when I create my own EQ preset for a couple sample clips that I have here. If you're gonna use one audio tool, I'm telling you, EQ is the one you wanna start with. It's not as hard as you might think. Let's jump in and check out these presets and see how they sound on some real world clips here. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight and we are gonna get going here in the EQ. So where do we find the EQ? First of all, like I said, make sure you're in Fairlight. You wanna have your mixer open, which is right at the top here, open up the mixer. And in our mixer, you can scroll down and you see we've got the EQ section right here. So you can go ahead and start by double clicking your EQ and that's gonna open it up for us. Now let's apply a preset. So the first one I'm gonna do is dialog clean add high. When I look in the EQ here, we're gonna click on this little drop down menu and right here we have dialog clean add high end. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now we can see the kind of curve that we get or the different frequency changes that we get, I should say, uh, here in the EQ. So that is how you are gonna apply each one of these effects. Now, this is on track one, so that's the effect that I want there. Now, if I click on the EQ for track two, I'm going to double click it, and it'll it'll just bring it up in the same window here, which is pretty sweet, right? It's always done that. That's nothing new, but just for ease of jumping around. Now, let's go ahead and apply another EQ preset. So, the second one here, I'm going to come down. I'm going to do Dialog Mail Lab Finisher. So this is going to be how you're going to apply any one of these presets, whether it's the ones that DaVinci Resolve uh, Blackmagic Design has made for you, or if you decided to purchase my EQ presets, got a pack one, link in the description below. I got pack two coming out soon. That's going to be an EQ modifier, kind of help boost your bass. You know, do you need more clarity? That's going to be pack two coming out soon if you're interested in that. But this is how you're going to apply any one of the effects. So I just go ahead and click uh, Dialog, Mail, Lab Finisher. Boom, we can see the different frequency changes that are made here. So I'm going to go ahead and update that, and I'm going to play through my clips here. It's uh, If I close my EQ, you can see up here, it's me in my kitchen filming on my 5D Mark IV with an on-camera microphone, a situation that a lot of you guys are probably in. Now, one thing that is going to help you hear these changes a little bit better is a good pair of headphones uh, or maybe some uh, monitor speakers. Now, if you only have, say, laptop speakers, you should be able to hear a difference still, but you're really going to notice it a lot more if you've got some good headphones or good speakers, something like that. So something to keep in mind. And actually, I think down the road, I'm going to be making a video about uh, different kinds of headphones, what it sounds like when you're editing, because it all makes a difference. But anyway, let's get into what these EQ presets sound like. Go ahead, roll that tape. All right, here we go. We're testing out the EQ presets here in DaVinci Resolve 18. Got the 5D Mark IV here on top. I've got a shotgun mic. It is a Saramonic VMic 5 Pro. So that's what we're using for the audio here. What you're hearing now is the Dialog Clean Add High End. That's the preset you're hearing right now. Now, if we go ahead and change that, I'm going to change that to Dialog Mail Lav Finisher. And actually, I may try uh, throwing in a lav mic in here to throw that on there too. But just to see what it sounds like with an on-camera mic, this is what you get for that preset. The next preset that I got here is Dialog Mail. Hence, I'm a male, so I'm using the Dialog Mail preset. This is what it sounds like if you're gonna go ahead and apply that preset. There is a female lav mic fixer, and I'm gonna try that out. This is what it sounds like on my voice, just so you can hear the difference here. But I'll also uh, throw in a female voice using a lav mic so we can see what that sounds like. And then now here is no EQ. This is just straight at the camera. No EQ on here, that's what it sounds like. All right, so now I got on a lav mic right here, and you're hearing the Dialog Male Lav Finisher preset. So this is what it sounds like when you actually use it on a lav mic. Now this is a really uh, pretty high-end lav mic setup that I've got here. Um, we're gonna actually be making a video about that later on, but here's what it sounds like with that preset applied. Now we're gonna roll into a female lav mic. So my wife has a little side business here, shameless plug for her. Uh, if you guys uh, need some cleaning products, we got this Norex stuff here. Dude, I use it all the time, it's awesome. But here's a little clip from a video I made for her for her little side business where she was wearing a lav mic and I'm gonna apply the Dialog female lav mic fixer EQ onto that clip. So uh, shameless plug for my wife. I'll leave a link in the description below. You want to go check out some of the uh, Norex stuff. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. I use it all the time. So uh, let's go ahead and roll that tape. Back in March, I got introduced to some products. And what these products are, are they are cleaning products that don't require any chemicals. I watched a couple of videos and I was like, oh, okay, that seems interesting. So I purchased a couple of products and you see here are some of the products I purchased. 
and I've been using them now for a while and I really just fell in love with them. I think that they clean really well and I don't have to worry about using all the chemicals all the time. And I still feel like everything is really clean. I started out with the kitchen cloths, which I think are probably one of my favorites. I use these on a daily basis. And then I also purchased their Enviro cloth, which is their staple product that you can use on pretty much anything and everything. And to go with that, I got a window cloth. This helps kind of clean windows, use it with the Enviro cloth. And then also purchased a dusting mitt. Got a lot of dusting around in my house, so I figured let's give it a shot, something a little bit different than my typical dusters that I use. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you guys a little bit about these and how they work and how I use them, just to see if there's any interest, knowing that these are a lot safer than using chemicals on your counters and surfaces all the time. And not to mention they clean really well. So hopefully you can see that in some of the videos I'm showing you and you have just as much interest as I do. Thanks, bye. And finally, if I was gonna edit my own EQ on this particular microphone, this camera, this room, there's a little echo going on here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. This is how I would edit it, changing the EQ and making it sound what I think sounds the best that I can. And finally, I'm gonna play a little bit of music here. I'm going to have no EQ applied, and then as the music's playing, I'll pop it up on the bottom of the screen down here. I'm gonna turn on the music, I'm looking here at what it's called, the Music Master Top End Boost. So that's gonna boost some clarity to your music track. So let's go ahead and roll that music. Gonna do it with no EQ, and then I'm gonna turn it on. I'll mark it on the bottom of the screen when that happens. So check this out. All right guys, so EQ presets, the ones they included here in DaVinci Resolve 18, they're pretty sweet. At least they gave us something to work with. I mean, they really should have done that a long time ago, in my opinion. At least give you guys somewhere to start if you don't want to get in there to nitty gritty and really learn some EQ. But if you do want to learn some EQ, click a video up over here. My EQ crash course, that's going to help you out, teach you everything you need to know about some EQ. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. More DaVinci Resolve 18 stuff. All right, see ya.